Okay, here we are. One second, let me post this over in the Discord in case anyone wants to join. Boop, boop, boop. I usually don't do this. Doing a little live stream. during like a few months oh but uh yeah how's everything going guys i have been dying with allergies and taxes and etc but um got collected a bunch of stuff on this update so i wanted to do a little video at least to explain some changes um, just got back from a nice camping trip in Big Sur also and got to eat a lot of weird sand crab creatures little sand fleas or whatever no not sand fleas sand crabs I guess and uh, got to cook them deep fry them pretty fun and also Deshelling them was pretty interesting because they like you gotta sort of turn them inside out. Like uh, if you've ever had your nail turned inside out, sort something like that. Except to, we we had to do it to these poor crabs, and then just eat them like little popcorn crabs. They're really tiny. Um, anyway, on the heavy paint side of things. A lot of changes actually. Um, let me. Whoa, my screen is going nuts. I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh, Fernando says they're also sand fleas. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. The little guys that hide in the sand at the beach, and you can just scoop up a bunch of sand with your hand, and then they're little creepy cockroach looking things, but from the ocean. But they're actually kind of tasty, which I wish I had known earlier. Um, so, yeah, for heavy paint, there's been a lot of changes lately. One of them is, um, well, I guess the main idea with a lot of these changes were to make things more nicer for uh, new people. So, first of all, there's there's borders around these buttons now. Before, there were no borders. It kind of looked more like, uh, I can show you, it looked like this, minimal buttons. So, so now this is an option we can turn on or off. And I think this was a little confusing just having a bunch of, you know, random letters on the screen. So now at least you know that they're buttons. And then um, also the highlighting, like the big green highlight, I think is nicer for painting outside because you can sort of see better what button or what tool you have selected holy shit this light is bright turn it off. and um and then uh can you guys hear me by the way yes you can okay never mind um and then also we've got a bunch of new settings in inside of tools so for example um let me show you so like fill gradient here Let's say we're drawing a gradient and uh, we're using this one, you know, vertical noise texture here. And uh, so now what we have is a rotation setting that you can use to rotate. Let me turn off the noise too. You can rotate your, your textures around. So I, th I think this is pretty cool because then you get a completely different effect from the same exact texture, basically. And uh, anytime we can save and like reuse, recycle, you know, that's always good. Um, because that, you know, that means we get better performance, less memory, things are more, um, we can do more with less. So that's good. 
let me see so the other thing that we've got now is noise so let me show you what that looks like let's see we rotate a little bit or add some noise so we've got noise in the y direction which is up and down you can see it's like warping or distorting the texture and then noise in the x direction will distort it this way and I think this is pretty cool because um, you can uh, get a lot of weird things happening with the same old textures that we're used to like look at this this is kind of like ramen now this is kind of reminds me of one of Mike J's ramen tools that he he made earlier but yeah we can just get regular old lines and turn them into something weird cool and then uh or what about this the the pills the old pills texture now has some new life because we can warp it and then it does weird stuff there's also um texture jitter by per stamp which works on these uh, repeat type tools so now it's gonna like shift the texture offset it a little bit on each stamp individually um, you can also do it by stroke and by point um, let me see. so this is also fun when you're looking at Let's say we go back to zero here. So let's say this is our tool. I'm going to turn off all the jitter and stuff so that we can see what it looks like normally. Something like that, just a bunch of lines. But if we turn on texture jitter point and crank that up, then it should give us like this. Each point is uh, scrambled around randomly. Um, in terms of the mapping of the texture, so then it looks more like a you know, like a nest of lines, and you know, I don't know. It's I'm 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 banking on people to come up with with useful ways to to play with these things because I just you know I've I've been messing with them, and and uh, I'm sure that you guys can come up with way cooler things than what I'm doing here do, do, do. but it's pretty fun to play with just messing around um, so yeah uh, all the different direction gradients have been sort of removed now because um, they're not really necessary anymore since we have rotation so yeah th there used to be a texture dedicated for this and one for this and one for this and one for this but now they're all one Right, they all use the same texture. You just rotate it. Um, what else do we have? The the smudge is a bit different now too, um, which I can show you. It's it's uh, it has pressure. Um, it sort of behaves like if you press harder, it it digs more, or it bites is, is what I'm calling it, but. I don't know. You, you gotta play with it to see. Um, boop, 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 boop. And then, aside from that, there's some UI stuff. Like, um, now, when you're... Let's say you've got a color... You know, some, sometimes the color circle is really big. And when you move down, it will jump... The color circle will jump to face downwards instead of upwards. So it doesn't block the canvas and also the canvas will kind of re uh rejigger itself to to get out of the way it's it's kind of better to see on a different uh if i didn't have split screen here but here, let me close the split screen for one second so yeah if we have our interface kind of to the side it will jump the uh the canvas to the other side and then the same thing with uh, down and up it'll jump try to jump out of the way for you 
Um, what else is different? There is... Are there any new tools? There's a couple new smudge tools. Let me see. Kind of fun to play with. The save menu has been changed a little bit. So when you hit save, we now have an option to check on or off save HP. So this will save the uh, project file or not save the project file. And also the order that these menus pop up is different now. So because before the uh, save options would show up after this menu and I think it makes more sense for this file select uh, like the name menu to show up after you select the options um, because people were getting confused about you know the options um, or they were looking for the option to save HP or save PNG and it wasn't showing up right away so now it shows up right away um, what else I think that's the main stuff Layers GUI is now over the the color circle. Before it was the color circle would block things, so that's been changed a little bit. Um, oh yeah, and tooltips. This is the other thing that's uh, going to be new for the mobile, at least version. Um, so anytime you click on something, it gives you a little tooltip, which I think will uh, help new people a lot. Um, boop, boop, boop. And of course, that can be turned off if you guys are, you know, already familiar with everything. You just turn off tooltips. You can turn off minimal buttons if you want to get it back to how it was before. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, these these buttons down here, like tutorial, community, have been fixed. I think. Yeah, there we go. So. That's been fixed, and then community should bring you to the Discord, which some of you guys are probably here from the Discord. Um, yeah. Ooh. All right, let me try to do this bear now. Do do. Twitter. There we go. But yeah, this version is has been up on desktop for you know a couple weeks now, um, or so. I think it's ready for iOS next. So it's I've got it um, submitted to the Apple App Store, and I'm just waiting for them to review it. Might take a day or so, probably overnight. Um, but in the meantime, I just want to do a little final testing, make sure things are okay. Um, yeah, these, the texture settings are pretty fun. You can just get really weird stuff happening from things don't that don't even look like they should be textures, but it looks a lot more organic, I think. But I should probably get my overall shapes working better before I start messing with any texture. Oh my god, sorry guys, <laughs> I just saw that. 
God damn it. Really? Ah. Is it still frozen? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try to reconnect this. Sorry. Fucking A. This thing is bad. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to mirror stuff on the screen here, but it's not. It's not super reliable. Can you see now? I hope. Okay, let me... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me go through all of that again. There's a... Uh, noise here. Settings. You can use to warp your textures around. I bet I just sounded like a crazy person for the past 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, there's noise. You can get, you know, your straight textures and make them look all wobbly and weird. If that's what you're into. Something like that. Should probably do this on another layer. Um... And then the other main thing is is rotation. So that matters more for things like this. Let's say we're using fill gradient. Um, you might want to rotate the texture like this. Oh, what? Oh, sorry. Rotate it like this. So this is going to give you the ability to to flip uh, you know the direction of your gradients if that's what you're playing with one eighty there we go changed fill gradient to be kind of a noisy texture by default now which I think is sort of cool um, Let's see, so rake, what happens if we add some noise to rake? What does that look like? Ooh. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited about the noise because you can basically get an infinite amount of variation from the same old uh, tools that we're used to, or the same old textures that we're used to. Um, Which is a good thing. We can change how intense the or the size of the distortion. We can make it really low. And Azimuth? No, we don't have azimuth yet. Maybe someday. Um, boo -boo 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 -boo. Turn off minimal buttons. So yeah, here's a new smudge. I think it looks cool. Change the smudge to a stretch. Maybe I could do texture thing here. here. I'll try to draw draw the bear as a big sheep. And then I'm gonna use this shape as a mask after. Big old round boy.
Did it freeze yet? No, okay. I need to keep checking up every five minutes. I'm using um, some third party app to screen mirror because the default Apple one is horrible, doesn't let you doesn't let you um, actually see it in, if you're streaming, so I have to use this weird weird one. But the, the connection is not super great. Okay, wow, this is a weird bear. <laughs> this okay. okay let me put this um, under here and then I'm gonna clip this one down we get the texture oh actually no I don't want to clip it down I'm gonna put it behind and then maybe a new texture in front of it oh god what did I do oh no the hell of course oh god damn it so I seem to have lost all input here but the app is still alive it's responsive ish but huh that's not good. Okay, we didn't lose too much. We sort of did. <laughs> Damn it. Let's see if I can get that to happen again. Ooh. Save that before I lose it.
Hmm. I wonder what that was. I'm going to try to get that crash to happen again. simpler these drawings are the better when I get too fancy with it it starts looking stupid or I should say the stupider it looks the better because everyone likes their bears to be derpy and uh, nice and soft Take it easy on that warning, it's kind of annoying. Yes, he's very chunky. He's a chunk master. But I like this weird texture that's happening. Maybe I can go crazy with the background here. Oh, actually, yeah, with brow, this looks pretty. You got some weird stuff happening with this texture in particular. It's too fine, I think. It needs more chunkiness. like that hmm whoa whoa Maybe a little bit of furriness down here. Oops. With black color. Some softness. With uh, line radial. He's pretty soft on the bottom. Let me tickle his uh, chin. Okay. 
Um, all right, well, I think I've covered most of the stuff I was looking for in this new version. Stats are a tiny bit different. We have added a date created section here. We've got uh, the draw time is a lot more accurate now. Um, on the desktop version, there's some hotkey stuff like, uh, well, you can't really see it on the iPad, but on the desktop one, there's a hotkey for um, size up and size, uh, sorry, rotation control here. Um, and then, what else? Uh, there's a lot of tiny little things here and there. Every time I do these updates, I feel like I've been working for forever on this thing, and it sounds like I haven't done anything at all. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have fun with the, the new uh, noise stuff and the texture stuff. There's just a lot of things in here. You, you just need to play with it to get a feel for it, but I think it'll be fun. All right, so I think that's basically all I wanted to do today. Let me zoom down here and see if anybody, yeah. Okay, all right guys, um, I'll try to do these more in the future, but thanks for joining in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.